my name is Mark Jones. I'm director of the Victoria and Albert Museum, and I'm here in the Gilbert Galleries within the V&A, surrounded by examples of extraordinary craftsmanship. In particular, we have here some of the finest hand engraving that you'll see anywhere. Skills which go back a long way and which are needed for the future. I do think it's important that we recognize the need to train the hand and the eye as well as the mind. That we recognize that that process of training requires people to learn over a long period from skilled engravers. Okay, this is something that I've engraved already. I've started to engrave it, I've not quite finished it yet. And in order to get to that stage, I started off with my reference material. This is uh, just a picture from an engraving book. So, in this case, I've traced through the tracing paper very fine. You need to, every single process has to be perfect if you want the picture to be as close to the original. Once you've drawn it over, you need to mark the centres of the picture so when it comes to putting it on, you can get it exact central. For working on something such as this, I use this. And this is made out of sandbags, different shapes to support each sandbag, going from larger to smaller. Of course, at the top, you want the smallest sandbag, and that is to allow movement, and it just helps you in generally engraving. To um, produce this piece of work, it took me about from up to two to two and a half days. We're really lucky that Britain's got some of the greatest craftsmen in the world, and that certainly applies to hand engraving. The snag is that the average age of most of these craftsmen is pretty elderly, and the other snag is that the government gives almost no help, no money, no apprenticeship schemes to any of these craftsmen. Therefore, we were enormously grateful to NADFAS for giving us some money to help with their apprentice support scheme. That has enabled us to help three young hand engravers and it's been a marvellous benefit to the trade. This is a silver plate that i done for the HEA for one of their shows that they were putting on. I could put anything on this plate so I decided I was going to do a Tudor Rose and our canvas leaf because they were um, English and because I was English I decided to do the rose first and once I'd done that I drew on the leaves from the metal and then once I'd got it how I wanted it to look I then moved on again doing um, the outlines but this time I'd done it slightly lighter and more flange to get the curves just to bring it out a bit more. The NADFAS apprenticeship support scheme has been a huge boon to us, you know, to get apprentices into the trade, a trade we're trying to keep alive here. It's a five-year apprenticeship, so it's a very long time and it's very labour intensive. It takes a lot of training. Yeah, to have this support is just a, you know, it's a huge help. It's important in thinking about art education in this country that we recognise the need for the skilled hand, the skilled engraver in the future.